Welcome brothers and sisters, I'm glad that uh, the Lord has given us another opportunity to share and uh, this is Gospel Sound as Rekindling Reformation, this is Sammy Wilberforce and uh, I've been uh, bringing to you the presentation, the lettering and uh, this is number 19 in the series as we come to an end of a 21 part series there will be more two presentations and then we'll wrap up everything and so I welcome you to the viewing and listening of this number 19 in the presentation and uh, this is the universal death decree so let us pray. Lord, again I give you glory and thanks because you have made things possible that we may be able to share together. And so, let thy love prevail and thy angels accompany uh, be in our midst so that uh, we may speak of the truth. Thank you for thy guidance always. Thank you for thy presence and the presence of thy son. For in his name I pray. Amen. I have been going through various things and uh, just uh, going into the last three presentations. I do hope that the Lord has blessed you as he has blessed me in this presentation. First of all, we must know that uh, the Universal Death Decree is not issued before the close of probation. It is only issued after probation closes. Uh, between the two main decrees and uh, so we want to look at uh, some of these things and see what the Bible says. That is the first decree and then the universal death decree. Decrees is also what causes confusion in understanding uh, the close of probations and uh, the special resurrection and so the first decree death decree we are looking at the universal death decree but there are two decrees the first death decree and the second death decree and the first death decree is found in revelation chapter 13 verses 11 to 17 i'd like us to go there to 17 
Revelation 13, 11 to 17. This is what it says. as a dragon and he exercises all the power of the first beast before him and causes the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed and he doeth great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on earth in the sight of men Verse 14, And he deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by sword and did live. And he had to give life unto the image of the beast. There we are having that decree. There we have it. And he quoted all both small and great rich and poor free and born to receive the money in their right hand or in their forehead. And that no man and so we have there the first decree being issued. And it is made by the apostate protestantism it is made by apostate protestantism you can also find it in uh, testimonies to the church volume 5 page 451 you can find it the saints are sealed and uh, you can refer to uh, 7 BC 976 and when it is issued in USA it will be followed by everyone in the whole globe that is when uh, we find the first decree being issued the first death decree and when it is issued it goes to the whole world. When you read 5T81, it co contains the threat of death. And uh, this will be of the and uh, wait for his second coming. Wait for these plagues to fall and wait for his second coming. This test uh, will be for the church just before the loud cry is given. This, this kind of the loud cry, so that the world may know that uh, actually it uh, this is uh, a false religion because we know that uh, uh, force is the last resort of every false religion. The second, uh, the universal death decree, the universal decree that uh, you find that uh, they will try even uh, to slay the saints. It is made after the close of probation. It is the death decree made by at the close of probation, you can find the writings to 650. I hope uh, you are taking notes and uh, you are following in. It is uh, made worldwide. It's a worldwide legislature. And uh, people are given to uh, making the plagues fall on the earth so it is not just something that is restricted to the government uh, and it cannot be made before the probation closes because uh, at that point it is the culmination of everything 
it is the one that uh, actually uh, these things are, and I hope you are noting them down yes uh, we apologize sister Adeline there is uh, a hitch and a glitch on the network but uh, the Lord is good and so uh, is the universe which full coverage and makes no mention of the universal death decree before the close of probation in fact it strongly indicates that such a law ignoring any vestige of legal priority could not be passed while Jesus remains a, a high priest but so long as Jesus remains man's intercessor in the sanctuary above even the enemies of the truth will be restrained that the third angel's message may do its work and so the first decree the first death decree happens uh before close of probation and the universal death decree happens after probation closes in the same book after the end time to the world has This is uh, what uh, she goes ahead uh, and writes. Reading from Great Romans, when he upon the creation and a decree will finally be issued against those who hallow the Sabbath of the fourth commandment. So it is when Jesus Christ leaves the sanctuary that the universal death decree is given. But before that, it will be the first decree, and the, the first decree is will want governments, and so. Uh, the decree is given uh, and uh, then uh, denouncing them as deserving of the severest de punishment and giving liberty after a certain time to put them to death. It gives liberty. The universe So, uh, another thing that uh, we find, I saw that the four angels will hold the four winds until Jesus' work was done in the sanctuary and then will come to come the seven last plague. These plagues enraged the wicked against uh, the righteous. They thought the plagues were day and night for deliverance. This was the time of Jacob's trouble. And so uh, we find that the first decree is found in uh, Revelation 13:15. But uh, the universal death decree comes out clearly that it comes after the clo close of probation. Now, uh, listen again to what she says. That uh, is leaving the cities, other places. Angels provided them food and water while the wicked were suffering from hunger and thirst. Um, this is the time of the plagues. Then I saw the leading men of the earth consulting together in Saturn and his angel busy around them. I saw a writing scattered and giving the people were at liberty after a certain time to put them to death. I'll writing 282 to 283. So the close of probation is not the decree of uh, 5T216. Of the first uh, decree, we shall receive power. And so, decree goes forth. The first decree in Revelation chapter 13, verses 15 to 17. Then the the power of God, the Holy Spirit, overshadows, and they give. Is coming in, and the number is made up 
there is a clause of probation in Revelation chapter 22 verses 11. And so between the first decree uh, to the clause of probation, this is the loud cry going on. And the first death decree goes on. America and it will be followed by the whole world then we have, shall have the close of probation after the close of probation then the plagues will start falling so sealing begins when the decree goes forth uh, uh, in Revelation chapter 13 but the final sealing which is connected to the judgment of the living and uh, the, 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 the judgment of the living and the final atonement actually goes forth at this decree and then it ends with the close. So, uh, just bring you this to connect. Spirit prophecy. And so, uh, here. The latter rain is falling. Before the sealing of God's people is finished, we shall receive outpouring of the Spirit of God. That is between the death decree. This is to be able. There will be a lot of persecution. So around the 1888 period, the Lord in His great mercy sent a most precious message to His people through Elder Swagona and John STM 91. And this message was to reveal uh, uh, to the people, the righteousness of Christ, so that the message itself was justification by faith. Thus, God was sending a message through Agon and Jonas to his people, uh, a message that they were to receive and proclaim to the world with a loud voice. Many of the brethren did not recognize this, and they we know the angel came down uh, uh, the, this disappointment is also written in the book of uh, Song of Songs chapter 5 where actually the bridegroom came and knocked in the house of the beloved and the beloved did not open the door and then the bridegroom went away and this is the state we have been in since 1888 the watchmen have beaten us the people of the world has ridiculed us has beaten us and even we have given in to their sentiments instead of going on with our message so the spirit of prophecy endeavored to set the loud cry of the angel the third angel has already begun in the revelation of righteousness of Christ, the sin pardoning redeemer, 1SM 363. This is the beginning of the light of the angel whose glory shall fill the whole earth. So in 1888 to Revelation we have been wallowing on this earth for this long and we have to rediscover the truth that Wagona and Etijones were having that made actually the angel calm down carefully consider this ill-quoted passage what is the statement what does the statement but it was the beginning of the main thing what became of that revelation is now history then the history of opposition and failure to respond to the revelation of the first race of the light that would have led the church into a speedy completion of her task and an entrance into the kingdom of God. That um, has been prepared and uh, we shall be uh, going through it uh, uh, point by point. It is almost a 20 part series just geared towards 1888. What was the message? What happened? Who accepted it? Who rejected it? What can we do? It can be an act and we can go first to 
loud cry began to be proclaimed. No, there was a revelation. There is a lot of difference between revelation and proclamation. So there was a revelation in 1888, 1892 about the angel of Revelation 18, but the proclamation was not there. This could not be the loud revelation of light to God's people. That is the SDA church what they ought to do revelation 1814 was not fulfilled during 1888 to 1892 no it is a wrong statement to say that it was fulfilled at that time it was just a revelation we know what it the message 18 uh, it is when the third angel uh, 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 come together and then uh, they swell into a loud cry so the end time prophetess to the world looked future for the proclamation of the loud cry. Here is the evidence then. I have no specific time of which to speak when the outpouring of the Holy Spirit will take place. So down and the message be proclaimed, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit happens. It was a revelation of what they ought to do and the events of that time, what was going on at that time just a revelation so that the people may be prepared to receive the latter being shown actually many rejected it thinking that the law was being taken away and that the two brothers were not having a respect for the older brethren and uh, this message was to unite with the third angel in closing up the work for this world yes we know in 1888 Advent is suffered at that time, and the Lord used uh, Etijones to defeat this debate at that time. So it didn't go into place. And we know that when the Sunday law goes into place universally, then the message of Revelation chapter 18 claimed. Uh, in the background to see that things goes the way he wants and so we should be careful in reading into things which uh, have not been uh, said that they are the prophecies in the 18th chapter of revelation will be soon fulfilled this was the her message at that time the end to the world Having great power in the earth is to be lightened with his glory. 7 BC 984, written in 1904. And so the Lord wanted to work mightily. He came, the Lord himself, he came, but uh, he was rejected. The time will be the revelation. message of Revelation 18.1. That is the additional mention of um, the apostasies and abominations that have been happening in churches. This is the period even when people will be called from nominal Adventist churches so as they may join a procession and may uh, of be part of wise virgin join about it yesterday in the ten virgins and be able to enter into the first whole time. The time is coming when there will be as many converted in a day as there were on the day of Pentecost after the disciples had received the Holy Spirit. This is the time of uh, the loud cry. We don't see it back in 1889. Just a revelation, not a proclamation. If there were a proclamation, then we could have seen more being converted. The church will indeed arise and shine. Wonderful description of things yet to be but uh, this is not what happened because we find that uh shining at that time in 1888-1892 something was going on but it was not actually the proclamation of the message when the storm of persecution really burst upon us the people of god will draw together at that time we didn't see people drawing together we saw people separating even at the 
uh, untrained horses where people are just involved in separating and disunity rather than coming together. But when the spirit comes, it is main purpose is to unite so that the message may go forth in power and in glory. Then will the message of the third angel swell to allow the light and the Lord is willing to do something good for the church. Far from being in the loud cry experience, that testimony written about 1903 states uh, that the time has come for a thorough reformation to take place. When the loud cry comes uh, forward, we shall see the maturity of this, the maturity of uh, in process. We shall see the deals of the uh, latter rain and then the latter rain in full. What then did the brethren reject at Minneapolis then? Referring to 1888, they rejected the latter in the loud cry of the third angel's message. This is what they rejected. This is what the And brethren, the time has come to do these things. Not us. Not a soul of us has ever been able to dream yet the wonderful blessing that God had for us at Minneapolis, says the prophetess, and which we would have been enjoying these four years if ready to receive which new to his church. He wants the glory of Christ to be revealed. We will have been four years ahead. That is in eighteen ninety three he states that Going back, that is 1889, 1888, the work could have been ahead, the loud cry could have been proclaimed, but what would have been, not would have been in the midst of the wonders of the loud cry itself tonight. That's a general conference bulletin, 1893, study seven, the third angel's message. And so we, we find that um, uh, she's cry was sounding or that the latter rain was falling here what is what he said and uh, this is what we are reading we know by every evidence that now we are in the time of refreshing the time of the latter rain and uh, certainly Jonas believed they were in the times of the latter rain. We know that we are in the time of the latter rain. We know by every evidence that now we are in the time of refreshing of the latter rain. Yes, they were in the time. The timing was the events that suggest that God is one. So they knew that this was the time to receive uh, the refreshing from the Lord. But what happened? Certainly, Jonas believed they were in the times of the latter rain, but he never believed that the latter rain was falling. He clearly thought that the experience of the judgment rain comes from the Lord and it does the work of the loud cry. But this was not the case. Those who teach that the latter rain will prepare God's people for the judgment and the sealing are out of harmony with the great 1888 message of righteousness by faith. First of all, we have to receive the seal of defect. That is when we know that the latter rain comes to the people. That is according to LDE 179.2, which says that the great issue so near the enacting of the Sunday laws will weed out those whom God has not appointed. LD 179.2 LD 179.2 This is what we find Again, all that uh, 
but uh, this is it. We are told the great issue so near at hand enforcement of Sunday laws will weed out those whom God had not appointed and will have a pure, true, sanctified ministry prepared for the latter end. So we find that uh, the sealing happens first and then the be made a ministry may be they hinder the finishing of God's work. Ellen White did not say that the loud cry was being proclaimed. She will say that there was a revelation. They hinder the finishing of the God's work for his people. Now is the time to gather up the sanctuary and enter by faith into the great work of judgment. of her sins, her, 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 her despicable condition, her laudition state, and then they will be able to receive the garment of righteousness from Christ, the robe of righteousness. Those who persist in resisting this light will repeat the history The cry is made by a people who are holy. It is only after we have um, remedy the defect in our characters that we shall be a pure ministry ready for the latter rain and when the latter rain comes then the loud cry so as to when the proclamation of the loud cry should come in. here are three unmistakable events that must first occur First of all, the mighty shaking in the church of God, that is in early writing 269 to 271, the experience, the of sin in the inner shall send the from the Lord, and then he will send Jesus Christ, who must come and be received before the restitution of all things. And so there is the sh mighty shaking in the church, and in this shaking there is the blotting out of sins and making the church ready to be able to receive the shaking is done, and uh, there is uh, a blotting out of sin. Then we have the sounding of Revelation 18, 2 to 4. Babylon is fallen because he has made all nations dream. Not yet can this be said. It points to the union of the apostate churches with the church had not united with the government fully and proclaimed the Sunday to be a universal uh, law to be kept by everyone. There will, we, therefore, we are now able to recognize that to claim that the loud cry has been sounding is without form. With latter rain uh, experience, those who say that the loud cry has begun actually do not consider the things that have to happen, the chronology of events that has to happen, and uh, many people enter into 9/11 episode. During 9-11, there is no laws that were put in place that uh, the church may unite um, with uh, the government and then the laws were put in place so that everyone may observe Sunday. So the, we were talking about the death decree and uh, we find that uh, the first decree happens in Revelation ch chapter 13 verse 15 and then uh, we have... Uh, uh, the shaking going on in the church. The number is made up according to LD 179.2 and uh, then uh, there is uh, the blotting out of sin completely so that the people may be able to receive the latter rain and when they receive the latter rain then they can go ahead and uh, make uh, the loud cry. So we have the first death decree in Revelation 13, 15 then the universal death decree where actually everyone will be at liberty to kill those who do not, uh, who, who worship on the Sabbath. They think that uh, those who worship the Sabbath are the ones making the plagues fall and uh, uh, doing away with them will be like uh, doing God's service. Uh, I'll finish with a verse. Uh, uh, these are things that I'm building just on things that I have been speaking. Uh, I'll finish with the, uh, 
the book of uh, John chapter 16 verses 1 and 2 as we close. familiar text John John chapter 16 <clears throat> and so we are told in John chapter 16 that uh, these things have I spoken unto you that you should not be offended they shall put you out of the synagogues here the time cometh that whosoever killeth you think that he doeth uh, God serves, and this thing will they do unto you because they have not known the Father nor me. There will be a time when even Seventh day Adventists will kill the apostate Seventh day Adventists will kill their own brethren, thinking that they are doing God a service and to avert judgments that are happening around the world. How will the seven, apostate Seventh day come to keep the sun, Sunday? In fact, we see a glimpses of that as we speak right now, and so my prayer is that. Uh, uh, you may be prepared, I may also be prepared so that um, the Lord may use us to finish his work, we may do his marvelous work in this end time. Without uh, loving self and without um, considering ourselves more important than anything else, we should lay down everything for Christ. And when we lay down everything for Christ, there is nothing to lose in this uh, thing because uh, Christ left everything in heaven and came and died for us and what he needs from us is a people who can give their lives unto him and uh, give up everything for his own sake and so uh, I pray that the Lord may bless you in a few things that we have looked in and uh, he'll continue giving you strength and uh, uh, propel you to work for him as uh, we are almost uh, coming to an end of everything let us give our hearts to God amidst every persecution, tribulation, and besetment, amidst everything that we are suffering. Let us purpose to give our all to Christ, and we shall see His glory revealed in our lives. Let us pray. Father, once again, we just thank you for this evening. Thank you for thy children. And uh, as we see the events of this world coming to an end, we pray that we may be established in our hearts. To worship you in truth and spirit and so give us the spirit of thy son that we may have the mind that he had we may die to self and we may continue proclaiming this message with power as uh, you only can give us that power to proclaim it and so your will be done in our lives now and forevermore in jesus name i pray amen god be with you and uh May you continue working for him and uh, may you patiently wait for him as the husband man waited for the crop to give her fruit and waited patiently for the, uh, 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 for the first rain and the latter rain. Above all, let us love one another like Jesus loved us. May the Lord bless you. Amen.